Hello everybody, this is the Metro Prime commentary walkthrough. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'll stay quiet during the cutscenes so you guys can enjoy them. Okay, I've done uh, some things different from my um, com my non-commentary playthrough, and one of the things is that Samus doesn't have her fusion suit, suit on. I kind of deactivated the cheat, and uh, I kind of missed all my files, so I wasn't able to go back and commentate over them. So I had to make new profiles and start the game over. Okay, so let's get this started. Um, it's just basic, just basic stuff. Shoot here, scan this, uh, roll somewhere else with the morph ball. Overall, I say this game is my second favorite in the uh, Metroid Prime series. Corruption being my first. Echoes is my least favorite. Not that I really don't have much of a reason for it. Uh, it's kind of bland to me. There's not really much to say on this level except it's just, you know, basic stuff. You really shouldn't need a walkthrough for this. But I do like the graphics in this game. It's real nice. And I really like the fact that they put it all on Wii. All the Prime series in one game. Put it on Wii. It's a real nice setup. If uh, you want to get 100% on the game. I suggest you scan all the creatures. And. Uh, well not all. Not just creatures. But you know. Basically everything you want to scan. Just in case it might be in the logbook. To beat the game at 100%, you want to get 100% on your logbook, as well as get all of Samus's upgrades. And you do that, you get a secret cutscene. So, good for you. I decided not to do it because I'm lazy. Well, I got a little lost there. I'm trying to look at my uh, my screen, trying to see how much time I had left to record. Right, follow those little things into this hole and you'll find the map station scan it because it's part of your research I guess there's uh, I would say there's a storyline to it but you kind of have to look at the cutscenes and the information that you've gotten in your log books so basically you kind of have to read a little bit as for corruption everything's more talkative Echoes is kind of between the two. They have NPCs that talk, but NPCs is uh, non-playable characters for those of you that don't know the proper term. And they, they talk, but they, it's an alien language and just text scribbles across the screen and whatnot. 
I, the only time I ever really was entertained by Echoes was, was at the end. It was not because I was glad it was through. Well, okay, that was part of the reason, but... <laughs> okay, all the pirates here, are, all your enemies here are fairly weak. One charge beam shot should take them down. And these little guys are going to be annoying. Let's just get used to them. Because they're going to be out, they're going to be throughout this entire game. It's even worse are those elite pirates that you have to use special beams on, but we'll get to them later. trying to look at my screen so I kind of screwed this up. I'm trying to get back up there. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Yeah, kill this guy. What about him? Uh, I, don't, I want to try to make this entertaining for you guys, but it's very hard to do considering the fact this is only the first level. So, try to hang in there. I really like the second part. You're going to like the second part better than this. Because at least you get a little bit more action out of it. A little more suspense. First active pirate we actually met in this playthrough. It doesn't matter anymore, he's dead. Here. Just ahead you is the boss, Parasite Queen, and right here is the save point. to do corruption, it's my favorite. Got the phase on beam and all that. Hyper mode. I suppose in this game you could say it has the best beams in the series. You got ice beam, you got your plasma beam, you got your wave beam. You got the wave buster, which is really cool. I'm going to show you guys that. Just a little taste of it. Our boss, the Parasite Queen. Most of you guys know her from Smash Brothers Brawl. If you have it, if you don't, I suggest you get it. Not really. Melee is better. Not they added some stuff, but it wasn't really all that great. And basically, we just shoot her around. I know there's an innuendo that we don't <laughs> comment on that. You can even hit her with these screens are just randomly moving. This is why it really doesn't require much of a strategy to pull it. Over here, over here. No and charge beams. Powerful with her slow, so I suggest you go wet and I guess that's somewhat of a strategy. So, and now she's dead. Die. Just like your father. Now stay down. Now we have to run for our lives. You basically got seven minutes before the reactor core critically goes critical and blows up on us. I never stuck around to see what happens in the end, but I'm guessing it blows up with us in it. That's just a guess though. Alright, um, I'm basically gonna stop right around here. I'm gonna stop right around here where we get our first one of actually active enemies. Then we're just gonna go down to Talon and Chozo Ruins. Bye.